Richard, welcome back to another episode of where Firoz grills Richard on all things Saito. <laughs> it's good to be back as always, ready yeah. for my uh, almost monthly grilling. There you go. Well, uh, happy belated New Year. Uh, Thank you. We're almost in, actually, we're in February now. I was going to say we're almost in February. We, we are, are in February. So, yeah. so without any further ado, let's, let's jump straight into the hot topics of what's on everybody's minds. Um, when it comes to Saito. So, Richard, let's, um, why don't we start off with a bit around community communications? I yep. think that might be a good start. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, as we were talking about uh, off camera earlier, uh, you know, it was a bit of a disjointed new mm. year, things, uh, events, holidays, etc. And one of the things that's become clear over that time is, you know, we could probably attend a bit more to um, getting our messaging out there, mm -hmm. keeping people abreast of what's going on in the project. Um, you know, we had a space and it got a really great reception recently. And I think there's just in some sense of some relief sometimes when we just remind people yeah. of everything that, that's going on in the project. So we're kind of going to try and make a, a renewed effort to improve the flow of information. You can see that, I think, already in things like the we've moved the roadmap to the wiki and in doing so we've also kind of just reformatted it so like previously we had the original post and then an update mm. and an update and like people wouldn't necessarily it's hard to make sense of where we we're at and what's going on etc so we're trying to improve you know, put a bit of effort into that sort of thing along as we go along um and we, you know, we're thinking about that across the board in terms of our outreach etc um and i think that's that's really good because we're we're getting a lot more interaction with community. We can really sense community growing and, and uh, developing. So. I, f I find space is actually quite, it, it's, it's a really good way to also branch out into more communities as well. I mean, you know, we we, we do this regularly on YouTube, you and I, mm. and, and, and that's great. And that has an audience, um, not necessarily audiences that would want to watch the video and not everybody mm. would listen to a YouTube video while, you know, traveling on the way to work. Mm. Um, and certainly spaces spaces is one where you can quite easily just kick off a spaces you know it will flag up on yep. twitter or x and uh, you know people either listen in and see what it's about or, about or don't but it's kind of a mm. an effortless way to kind of get involved as well which I, which is good i think it's one of the few it's one of the few um, mediums like this for communicating yeah. a message as a project where you've got a an informality about it. It's easy to join, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. And funnily enough, we've been having tech issues <laughs> with the last couple of spaces. So <laughs> we're talking the project is we're actually looking at how could we form a swarm of Cyto users and just put it on Red Square and have it as a feature there um, without the central hub to go down. So um, we're actually kind of sneakily looking at that on the side um, as another kind of Red Square you, feature. You, you literally took that thought out of my head around tech issues. The amount of times <laughs> I've been on Spaces and like you end up getting kicked off or you can't hear and you start saying hello a thousand times. I, I mean, it's it's clear for Twitter it's not their primary goal yeah. because I'm sure their tech team could 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 get rid of some of the constant issues I have mm. anyway. Um, but the, the basic idea in forum is great, like to to be able to go out and to chat to community and it makes people a bit less reticent to come back or, or to come up on stage as well and mm. i think that's really important to, to get real questions out there how about third-party developer tooling how's all that sort of progressing along um really well so i mean i've been talking i noticed the other day i had four cyto chat windows mm. open along the bottom of red square and they were actually all talking to along with one telegram chat people who are building something on cyto uh, or, or wanting to so some of them are quite early and they're learning you know they're like learning the ropes about how to work with you know, truly peer-to-peer -peer mm. model, etc. Um, but the great thing is, you know, having calls on on the video chat and introducing people, people can see get get a real sense of you can really build with this. You know, you can build. You know, it's well yeah. out beyond the kind of, you know, there's a bit of a mill out there of. Uh, I heard from a, from an advisor <laughs> saying that he saw the same presentation with kind of ETH scratched out and Soul written on it, and then <laughs> Soul scratched out so, with the same development team sold the same DAP to five ecosystems to get their grants, right? And you know no one's ever going to use that. It's really great to be talking to people who want to build something that's going to be effective and usable on Saito. And I think that's that's a lot of what we've been doing is looking at things like making the peer-to-peer -peer stuff as easy to use yeah. as the spoon-fed experience you can have as a junior developer when you try and use the client server models that are there to kind of drag you in and lock you in. Um, and so we're, you know, we're, we're getting really close and much better with that stuff. So that's really positive. 
I mean, it's always a it's always a key point that bit anyway, which is you know user user stickiness. People people staying within an ecosystem ultimately comes through ease of what they can do, what they're used to yeah. as well. At the same time, um, you know, which is which is always is yeah. Always a good I thing mean, it's to. the same thing as you have with crypto, where the the legacy financial mm. institution has things like credit cards in people's hands. So no one wants to, you know, um, wait a second for a transaction or scan a QR code because there's this legacy there. And I think the same is true for developers with the Web2 world. They've been given so much. The, the, the frameworks they're using, the tools they're using were built by the big web companies to make it easy for those big web companies to keep providing yeah. the same kind of pro, uh, services and then, of course, to keep their garden nicely walled and you know, profitable. So you're doing a lot to try and get developers into a space where it's it's not just a DAP with the same kind of old school client server model. It's real peer to peer, yeah. you know, network interactions or communications, encryption, all of those things. So, but exciting to see people getting their teeth stuck into it. We were talking about consensus earlier on offline. Yeah. Actually, maybe um, I thought that might be a good a good area for you to segue well, into as well. Actually, yeah, it's interesting. It, it, it ties in. We got there because it ties into what I was just saying. Where mm. you know, people are keen and they're looking and they're saying, "When will there be you know value on chain in a way that um, the people who are starting to build can build businesses, etc." And you know that we're keenly aware of that. And it's one thing we flagged in the tokenomics space we had a few months ago. Now that you know one of the things that's happened is we've We've kind of run the course of getting the ideas out there, having Cyto tested for mm -hmm. merit and for you know, effectiveness. Um, and we've also been trying to push um, transaction volume that whole time because that's what's going to give security to that value yeah. on chain. We can't have that value on chain without security or someone will just walk in and take it. And that relies in a pure Cyto model on higher transaction volume. What we, what we can do and what we've been accelerating for the last couple of months is to add some buttressing, some strengthening, mm -hmm. uh, some very key features to you know, pure Cyto that will let us move forward those plans and make that possible sooner than they would be if they relied purely on generating the transaction volume before that. You know. So it's a, it's a bit of a chicken and egg problem. We've yeah. always known that bootstrapping is an issue. Um, yeah, we're, we're aware and we're, we're moving on that. And it's good to see the amount of code coming through you know, on that front. So you know, positive that we're on track. Another an, an, another topic that we always hear hear a lot about is token, token work, you know, mm. <laughs> exchange listings, <laughs> when, 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 what's what's happening in that front? Well, I think we, we talked about this a little bit last yeah. time, but, you know, it's become clear that we need um, market making mm. to be of interest as well as warm introductions of various things. So the, the, the average uh, exchange listing officer these days that Wiz is, you know, probably is interested in what they can get out of the project in the mm. first month and a half and then forget. Yeah. Right. That's, that's the ambit they've been given is find projects that we can launch with these big hoo-ha. And then hopefully we put a perp on the project and at the right time, you know, everyone walks away well yeah. off and the community is left there. That's their general model. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they list a project twice and, it, and, and it's not and it's not a great model by the way as well at the same time yeah. i mean I, it's something um, <laughs> you know it, we, we've discussed before in the past probably, actually yeah yeah so if you want to actually as a from the founders chair you actually want to keep mm. the project alive past that couple of months it's not impossible of course but it requires setting up the relationship and negotiating pretty hard on getting a good deal that's actually going to you know not result in a in a you know massive cliff face at some point for the project yeah. in the future. Um, we're working with finding the right market making partner so that we can build some of the prerequisites for that, um, but also then so that you know the liquidity etc is there for buyers. Um, you know it's preparing in part for a, mm. a you know, an upcoming bubbly market to be able to um, increase the coffers a bit and maybe you know accelerate yeah. even further on the things that we're working on. So, I mean, I mean, it's about value across, it's about value across, I was going to say all chains, but what mm. I mean by that is, is, is values, is value for the founders like yourself and mm. for the project It's making sure there's value for those who are also in the project, you know, whether it be from an investment perspective, whether it be from a tech wise perspective. Mm. So it's trying to find that clear balance. Um, and I've seen it with many projects in the past, you know, 
as as much as it's a great story that people tend to ask when exchange you know when yeah. listing when all of these things um it does need to be tackled in a certain way whereby you know you can see and yeah, mm. i'm not necessarily talking about price i, I suppose i am but I, I, it's not price actually that we really talk about on this on this channel but you know you can look at some of the more recent you know l2s that have recently mm. um you know jumped into the scene there are you know there are airdrops there are points there are all these things that are rewarded but they normally do have that you know an initial pump and dump straight away and I, and i think that's where you know some people may stick around and some people may actually lose interest thinking oh because you know you don't they don't i would say so the everyday person doesn't quite look at the value that you've provided up to that point what you've been building up to that point you know yeah. there's there's a lot that goes in and you know we've been talking for about 2 years so I've seen yeah. that development. Some people might just yeah. be coming in saying, oh, I haven't heard of this. It looks like yeah. a shiny coin. I might jump in on yeah. it, but not without knowing what's behind it. It's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's always been a difficult one on that one. Yeah, well, I mean, you, thought, you sort of, you, you said the value to the founders. So for me and David, I mean, anyone who's watched us do this or understands what we're trying to achieve, um, you know, in some ways there's nothing in it for me. I'm not like... Mm. Um, on the front end of some queue to like take money out of the project <laughs> far from it um but it's actually everything to me and and to david in as much as you know we we we're pretty relentless i think people who know us know that yeah. we won't stop at less than side of world domination you know the it's not like we've got we we behave the way we do or we're cautious or we mm. you know we, we do some things differently to a lot of the people in the industry because we don't want to succeed it's because we desperately do and doing that is is a different picture if your intention is to you know really yeah. be a major player in the industry um if not the player and that takes a different long-term attitude like you said that that highlights different that different yeah. things are valuable for you when you're doing that so yeah for business people say oh, if you had another exchange you'd get a lot more exposure we would but if that exposure is the kind where people are lured in they they ape in they buy something and then the yeah. exchange sells the 20 percent of the tokens mm. we had to be yep. so the whole supply that they ended up with on those people okay they were exposed to the project yeah but, exactly right so you know there's, there's something like that and i think there's there's a there's also a disparity with investors where the you know where people are doing that rather than following a project getting involved exactly where th they can move on right yeah so you can just community to move on there isn't another side of it for us you know like we're, know, course, we're yeah. really laser focused on this being what we're doing and, the, and and being right about it so you know we're we're, we're looking for some you know we're looking for partnerships and things that will push that forward and we'll take the whole community along with us we're not looking at you know to, it's not a business where i hope to run this restaurant for five years and then sell it yeah yeah you know, exactly <laughs> talking about yeah. being laser focused we do have that segment in our shows now where we provide that <laughs> Five minutes of fame for questions that you want to ask Richard. Although there are plenty of channels you can ask Richard on, but this is one of them. Yes. So, Richard, I have a couple of community come, come questions. Go to Red Square. <laughs> Go to Red Square. Actually, yeah. before we do, if you've yeah. stuck around the interview this long, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Smash it. Smash, smash it, like guys. Button. Smash it. Look, Richard, Richard's yeah. put a lot of effort in getting that hand movement. There you go. See, you don't see that it's every practice. day. You don't even get that on the spaces. You can't even see it. So make sure you show some love to the Saito community here by... And also drop a comment below, drop your questions for the next video. But let's jump into the questions, Richard. So question yeah. number one from our wonderful community. Are you planning to recruit a growth manager in order to attract external projects and thus potentially increase both visibility and on-chain volume? I feel like we've talked a bit about it, but we've got to ask the question. Yeah, I think there's, I mean, there's factors to that. There's budget, mm. you know, like th that's, it's in it's it's in a list of of uh roles we've got in mind yeah you know, um the issue is the issues are budget obviously and like where would things go first because some of the, are the other things in place that need to be there you know so we yeah. talked about the developer tooling etc mm. earlier so it's about it's a matter of lining all of that up so that if we had someone in a full term full-time role doing that 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 they would get solid uptake not just that they'd win interest but they would then actually have people you know come and look at what they're what what's on offer 
and keep working. So at the moment, we're working more with people who come via the community route because they're already mm. aware of that. Um, selling it as a development technology to people, you either you know pay them, just pay them to come yeah. and develop, even though they don't have something to achieve, which is problematic, or you need to have something really you know solid to, as an inviting um, that's going to win them over versus somewhere else, perhaps that will throw money at them. So yes, that's definitely something that could work. That and that's one side. The other side is just whether we are, um, you know, when and where things happen in what order. You know, is that mm -hmm. something that that people are doing via community or that we have cases of doing? So it's more effective to do it by supporting other activities like the community pushing mm -hmm. out or simply promoting what's been achieved by people who are building on Soto. So it's definitely a, a possibility and something we'd like to have. Um, although I'm always wary when people kind of see this picture of like the project yeah. and like the project's like the company and it's going to do everything. Um, come and join, come and help do that now. Don't wait. If, if you're interested, if you see that as value, we'd love to have people on board. We'll support them as best we can. Um, you know, it's, it's more than just a kind of us and them Mm -hmm. uh, approach from from us okay and then the next one we have is the race for layer one projects is heating up so in this context yeah. the ability to deliver quickly and correctly is paramount so are you planning to recruit more developers right i mean there's there's that answers some of the the previous mm -hmm. question like where in the line would that be a developer or that person yeah. i think sometimes people ask for these things without a picture of that they need yeah. to be a budget <laughs> yeah. it's like oh crypto project must have money from the sky um that's not <laughs> that's not the case we have to think carefully what we do with the with the runway we have um uh, having said that you know we're just talking about like looking to, to market making mm -hmm. and perhaps being able to to make uh, sales of, of tokens that we do have to hand that sort of thing would be in the aid of you know po possibly one of the first things we would do is hire for extra grunt in the rust and consensus mm -hmm. team like that that might be it depends with then the reason that it it's a possibility is clearly going faster there would be good but adding people to a moving team isn't always necessarily the best way to speed it up if you if the goals are inside mm -hmm. right so yes we 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 would like to do that we would also like to you know, be doing that with you know community etc there's someone in the community looking at building a, a fully fledged explorer you know if that if we can support someone to do that that's a great way of getting a piece of kit that the team needs that the project needs um very effectively so yeah definitely on the cards but again it's you know it's part of the whole picture of kind of managing a, a project and I will say it is only politicians that have a magic money tree where they shake and it comes out. <laughs> That's, isn't, that the, isn't that the point? <laughs> that we're not printing money. It's not zero inflation. We don't print more money. And so. um, the last one, it, it is actually quite a, quite a lengthy one, but I do want to touch on it and you yeah. know we can take it from there. But there is a Saito improvement proposal out there, which covers a yeah. number of activities within it from marketing yeah. to website to recruitment yeah. to potential airdrops, which... You know, and, yeah. and listings. So, anything you can add to that? Uh, well, yeah, we've, we've got a space coming up. I think next Thursday. So look, mm -hmm. at, uh, look to the, the Red Square and Twitter announcements on that. Um, I think some of the things in there, you know, are, are actually ready in train. And so, mm -hmm. going back to what we we're saying right at the start, yeah. the first thing to do about that is communicate to the community what is actually happening on the things that we're actually moving on. So we'll raise, we'll raise and discuss some of those those things there, uh, some of the items in that in that it's more it's not a improvement proposal it's like a, a series of things. So we'll, we'll talk about some of those things uh, in the space, um, and we'll also communicate directly with the people who raise things because you know some of the content is informative, mm. but you know it's 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 not well formed yet. Or we might actually go back to people and say, well, okay, this is this is an interesting idea. Can you flesh it out so that we can action it? So I think the big thing there is it's really good to see that instance amongst a lot of others mm. with people being really, you know, super critical, but very productive. Yeah. You know, critical in the sense of looking at what we're doing, thinking about it, trying to engage, being helpful and coming back with suggestions. And there's, um, from in my chair, there's nothing I could ask for more than that, you know. Um, great, great to see. And we'll get 
on to communicating responses to it you know, and, and actioning things as soon as possible. I think I think before we wrap up, I, feel, I think on, on that note, I, yeah. I do want to give a shout out to the community because it, yeah. it is it is one of those communities. Definitely when I see, you know, this is, and this was just a selection of questions, um, but, you know, the questions that come in, they, they all are they all are thought through, you know, even that document, you can see yeah. that a lot of effort has gone into the production of it. I've, 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 I've seen the quality of it as well. And yeah. I, I really appreciate that about the community. I, I, I this is one mm. of the reasons why, you know, I've been with the, with, with Saito pretty much from the beginning, I think, Richard, um, mm. it, and it is because it's community. We have a great community. There are great members in there. They're all asking the right questions. It, it, yep. it's, it's not about when this, when that, you know, when do I get this or when do I, it's, it really is, you know, a development in progress, which we've seen and continue to see. Yep. And it's got really good, great quality team behind it. I mean, not just from your team, Richard, but I mean, a great quality community as well. Well, I think, I mean, it's, it's not a thing I have a, a dial mm. on, but I'd like to see like how much of the stuff that is actually produced by the project is community. Mm. Right, because it's it's increasing, it's ever increasing, and you know, obviously things move, move one way or the other. But I'm really proud of that, and I'm really proud of the people involved. That um, you know, and and to me, I can't, you know, this, it's very hard to judge sort of how you're doing sometimes. But it's always possible to look at the community and say, well, there's a good indicator that we're doing something right because we've managed to do something that's gotten this this pretty cool group of people involved. And uh, yeah, proud of that. That's definitely true. There you go. And, and and Richard would do a heart emoji with his hands, but I'm not sure if he feels uh, up to it just yet. <laughs> there you go. Lived in East Asia long <laughs> enough that... Well, Richard, thank you again for another amazing Saito catch-up. Um, again, we'll, we'll, we'll catch up again in another month's time, as we always do. Um, but before that, that's if you have guys... Yeah. That's the Feroz Richard six-week yeah, month. That's right. There you go. Um, and if you haven't, guys, make sure, drop a like, drop a comment, Follow, check out Saito if you haven't. If you are coming across this video yeah. for the first time, check it out. Check it out. Doing some yeah. great work there. And uh, okay. until then, I'll see you on the next episode, Richard.